Exiting Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer said Democrats are willing to work with Republicans on Donald Trump's cabinet picks, but only if Senate vetting procedures are met. The Post Millennial reports the Democrat from New York wrote incoming Senate Majority Leader Republican John Thune of South Dakota on Monday stating this, quote, in particular, we commit to working a bipartisan fashion to process each nominee by reviewing standard FBI background investigation materials, scheduling hearings and markups in the committees of jurisdiction, and considering nominees on the Senate floor. The letter comes two days after Donald Trump nominated Cash Patel to head the FBI. Patel is likely a Trump nomination Democrats want to challenge. The letter did not say the Democrats would back all Trump nominees, but the more conventional picks are likely to pass with bipartisan support. Right now, let's talk with Media Research Center Director Eric Shiner. Welcome to Victory News, Eric. Uh, thanks for having me. All right. Uh, Chuck Schumer says Democrats are willing to work with Republicans on Trump's cabinet picks. What's the catch in the offer from the current Senate Majority Leader? Is there one? Well, it seems like you, you touched upon some of it there. He wants FBI checks. Uh, they haven't ruled out using the filibuster, which traditionally the uh, to stop these picks, which traditionally, you know, not wasn't that long ago, the Democratic Party was saying we want to get rid of the filibuster. We don't like it. Now they like it because it will allow the, them to slow down Trump's picks. It also falls short of saying a single pick that they could work together on. I mean, maybe you could name one like, well, we could work bipartisan on this particular uh, cabinet member and we like to work for, you know, together on others in the future. It doesn't name a single one, so it's really interesting. He says, if you don't do what he says, you'll erode trust in government institutions. And of course, that comment comes following uh, the, you know, the Hunter Biden part. All right, I want you to listen to, again to Scott Jennings Trap, a CNN panelist and ongoing, outgoing congressional Jamal Bowman. He's a congressman on Joe Biden's motivation for pardoning his son, Hunter. Here it is. Can I ask a question? Do you all think that Merrick Garland should be fired because of this corruption at the DOJ? Again, I don't think there's corruption at the DOJ. I think the concern is the future DOJ he is does. going to be corrupted. You think there's corruption there? You think this was a politicized witch hunt? But no. the attorney general should be held accountable, no? So no corruption in the current DOJ, but corruption to come in the incoming DOJ. That's why the president <laughs> pardons his son, Hunter Biden. Can you explain the political math on that for me? Uh, well, you know, basically the political math here just doesn't add up. It just adds up that Biden lies plus media repeating uh, th this defense just leads to complete insanity. Jennings really got them there. I mean, Jamal Bowman was looking for a fire escape to pull to get out of answering the question because they're really left with no defense because the political math doesn't add up. Only the most biased, far left person that's entrenched in leftist politics really believes uh, that Joe Biden had to excuse, had a pardon Hunter for crimes going back 11 years uh, because, you know, it was unfair. It was all only happened because his name was Hunter Biden. Fire escape. Very funny. I caught what you did there. <laughs> During his dinner with Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau, he said that a 25 percent tariff would kill Canada's economy. And Donald Trump reportedly joked that Canada could become the 51st U.S. state if his economy can't survive without exploiting the United States for 100 billion annually. He added Trudeau could serve as the state's governor. Eric, what's the message? here for the prime minister and other leaders in the world? Well, the message was this was a very humorous way to, to solidly put forth a deal saying you need to trade fairly with America. We need things to be on an even playing field. Uh, and he did it by making saying, hey, making the light light of the situation, making a joke, saying if we can't do that, then maybe you just need to become part of the United States because uh, that way we'll trade fairly. So it really puts the onus on Canada to do these negotiations, but he actually did it in a very light way from a position of power. I think it was a very funny and smart and pointed joke. By yeah, the, I think uh, there was, I heard there was nervous laughter at the table.